All right, good people, let's take a stab at this voiceover again. You guys asked for a nail tutorial, so that is what I'm here for, okay? So this process normally takes me anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, and I do my nails once to twice a week. It depends on if the nail polish is chipping or cracking, okay? So what you just saw was I applied a base coat, and I applied two coats. Now I'm going over my nails with my base color and if you did not know Julie G nail polish is like my number one nail polish okay I love it my second most favorite nail polish is sinful colors anywho so I'm going over with this color called cherry on top and this is a Valentine's Day inspired nail tutorial so that's why I chose this beautiful red color and now this is how I clean my nails. I believe this brush was purchased from BH Cosmetics and it had to be no more than $3, okay? So I just simply use my nail polish remover that's already in the jar. I don't use anything other than that and I just use that to remove it. Well by it, I mean remove the nail polish that I get on my hands because even though I'm trying to perfect this thing, I still mess up, okay? So now, you see that little white thing right there? That is what my eyelashes came in, and yes, I am using it for my nails, so do not judge me. Might as well get some use out of it, right? So I put a little nail polish on there so that I can prepare to do my dots. Now right here, you guys, please forgive me for the blurriness, okay? I really thought that I was in focus, but I'm not, but I figured that you guys wouldn't mind because it will be clearing up soon and you can still kind of see what I'm doing, right? I think so. So I'm starting with my design. Sometimes I design as I go and sometimes I have a design in my head that I just need to get out on my nails, okay? And this particular design is what you guys saw in the video where I talked about my nail care routine where you guys asked me to do this particular design so I thought I would do it but with different colors yes we're still a little blurry but I'm gonna keep it going so this color is shoeaholic by Julie G which you guys saw in the video but I really love this color and on this nail, I decided not to add any white. I just wanted to go for the polka dot look and it came out really, really cute. You'll see it in a minute when it clears up. See, told ya. Now, whenever you're gonna go to the other hand to do another design, you want to put a little more nail polish because what happens is the nail polish you use at first it starts to dry out and then it gets stringy and then it just makes your design like a complete mess okay so that's why I put more down on my little eyelash holder there and now I'm going in with a color also by Julie G and the color white orchid and I just wanted to do something a little bit different so remember I told you about how the dotting tools have different sides to it well I'm going in with the smaller side to make smaller dots. Alright, so I'm done with that. Now I'm going over my nail polish with the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat to seal everything in. Now the trick to when you put this top coat over the design you just did is not to let the brush touch your nail, okay? You only, you put like a glob of the, um, nail polish on there but you do not touch your nail with the brush you just use the brush to glide over it that's a trick all right so uh yeah that's a wrap guys hope you guys like this design if you want to see more nail tutorials then feel free to thumbs up and until the next video have an awesome and blessed day ta-ta